All right, my buddy came to me. How's the uh, code P0128? It's a coolant temperature below threshold, whatever, whatever. Uh, it's overheating on the when he's driving on the freeway. It doesn't overheat. He's losing coolant when he's in traffic or just you know driving around the street. He's uh, it's not overheating. First thing comes to mind. It's electric fans. First thing come to mind is is the electric fans turning on. I had him warm it up. I filled some more uh, coolant in it, and uh, most people would just change the sensor. And uh, you know, you're not supposed to do that at the first sight of the coolant temperature below whatever change the coolant temperature the way to identify where it is basically is a uh, upper radiator hose goes over here to the thermostat and we're just gonna check the uh, the sensor itself we got to check the wiring real quick I'll just show you real quick how we check the wiring you could use it with a regular multimeter I'm just using the power pro I got it hooked up to uh, battery positive and then uh, every time I touch a ground you got that every time you touch a power you got that so I'm gonna have him hold this just hold it there oh, okay. yeah. so I disconnected it all we're doing is just checking the wires uh, the whole thing is I had him warm it up I had him heat it up it did not um, the fans didn't turn on at any time I used the power probe, and uh, I guess I could show you. Come over here real quick. Um, that's a ground right there. I had this hooked back up in here. Uh, it didn't turn on when I had the car on. I used my power probe. I'm not supposed to be pinching wires, but... Fan turns on, so we know the fans are good. I checked both fans, the fans are good. I, uh, so we know the fans are good and you got the cooling temperature sensor so it's not the fans um, I was looking for a leak couldn't find a leak uh, so we're attacking the actual sensor itself to see if the sensor is good so you want to check the wiring first make sure the wiring is good and that's what we're going to do real quick uh, it's a thermistor it's a two wire sensor I've showed it just look up thermistor um, basically you want to you have a ground and then you have the 5 volt reference and then the uh, the thermistor is the actual uh, sensor itself so that's the ground right there you got zero right there and then this right here I have the key on you got 4.8 I don't know if you can see that but it says 4.8 um, it says 4.8 right there that shows us that the uh, power and the ground are good once again I have the key on and then what I'm going to do just to make sure I have it set on the ohms I'm going to put this right here and then I take off the sensor and then uh, it's going to be real hard for you to tell but all I'm doing is going across uh, going across the sensor and uh, it's going to be hard to do it but when I go across the sensor there, there's no reading there's nothing there's no resistance or anything the sensor itself is bad. I was 110% sure. I was spending a lot of time down here going across the sensor. He needs a new sensor. What happens is if the sensor doesn't give the reading that it needs, um, first thing it's going to do is going to set the code. Uh, second thing it's going to do is not going to allow the, the fan to turn on. When the fan does not turn on, your engine overheats. When your engine overheats, the PSI and the coolant goes up. When the PSI and the coolant goes up, you blow radiator hoses, you blow radiator, you blow stuff like that. Hence causing a leak. Hence having to put, continue to put coolant in it. So diagnosis uh, to start off with is to replace that, uh, that sensor. And it shouldn't cost much for that sensor. So uh, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Sight of the coolant temperature below whatever change the coolant temperature the way to identify where it is basically is a uh, upper radiator hose goes over here to the thermostat and we're just gonna check the uh, the sensor itself we got to check the wiring real quick I'll just show you real quick how we check the wiring you could use it with a regular multimeter I'm just using the power pro I got it hooked up to uh, battery positive and then uh, every time I touch a ground 
you got that every time you touch a power you got that so I'm gonna have him hold this just hold it right there so I disconnected it all we're doing is just checking the wires uh, the whole thing is I had them warm it up I had them heat it up it did not um, the fans didn't turn on at any time I used the power probe and uh, I guess I could show you come over here real quick um, that's a ground right there I had this hooked back up in here uh, it didn't turn on when I had the car on. I used my power probe. I'm not supposed to be pinching wires, but... Fan turns on. Right, my buddy came to me. How's the uh, code P0128? It's a coolant temperature below threshold, whatever, whatever. Uh, it's overheating on the... When he's driving on the freeway, it doesn't overheat. He's losing coolant when he's in traffic or just, you know, driving around the street. He's uh it's not overheating. First thing comes to mind, it's electric fans. First thing comes to mind is is the electric fans turning on. I had him warm it up. I filled some more uh coolant in it and uh most people would just change the sensor and uh you know, you're not supposed to do that at the first so we know the fans are good I checked both fans the fans are good I uh, so we know the fans are good and you got the cooling temperature sensor so it's not the fans um, I was looking for a leak couldn't find a leak uh, so we're attacking the actual sensor itself to see if the sensor is good so you want to check the wiring first make sure the wiring's good and that's what we're gonna do real quick uh, it's a thermistor it's a two wire sensor I've showed it just look up thermistor um, Basically, you want to you have a ground, and then you have the five volt reference, and then the uh, the thermistor is the actual uh, sensor itself. So that's the ground right there. You got zero right there, and then this right here. I have the key on. You got four point eight. I don't know if you can see that, but it says four point eight. Um, it says four point eight right there. That shows us that the uh, power and the ground are good once again I have the key on and then what I'm gonna do just to make sure I have it set on the ohms I'm gonna put this right here and then I take off the sensor and then uh, it's gonna be real hard for you to tell but all I'm doing is going across uh, going across the sensor and uh, it's gonna be hard to do it but when I go across the sensor there, there's no reading there's nothing there's no